Blah, 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 blah. Get the fuck out of our building. This is our building, man. Y'all better get the fuck up out of here. We taking over this. That's what people claim that Venezuelan gang was doing on the south side of Chicago. I done been reporting on this the last couple of days. We heard from gang members saying, "What no Venezuelans in our neighborhood. Then we seen videos leak of Venezuelans around O Block. And then we seen another video leak of like a grandmother calling the police saying they seeing Venezuelans shooting guns and all kind of stuff. This thing took over the whole Chicago. People wondering what's going on. Finally, the police has officially spoke out about this. Because there have been reports that Venezuelan gang members took over an apartment complex a couple blocks from O Block. The police came. This was all on the news and the newspapers. This wasn't just regular people in the neighborhood saying this. Where the police, Chicago Police Department, they've been hearing about this. They finally spoke. This don't come from no people on the street, no bloggers, no none of that. This come from the police. And they said some of it's true and a lot of it's false. Hit the like button. I'm going to break it down to you because there's a lot of things going on around here. I don't want to drive you around the corner, so hit the like button so you can catch it. Um, goal on this video, a thousand likes. A lot of people need to know about this because it's quick that a rumor can spark. We're not starting a black people against Venezuelan type of thing. That's not what it was. I love my Venezuelan people. That ain't what it was. My videos are about Venezuelan gang members. Not Venezuelan, so that's not mix that up, okay? Um, but according to the police, they did get a call at that apartment complex that it was gang members, Venezuelan gang members taking over the apartment complex. They said when they got there, they didn't see none of that. They don't believe that that really happened. They said it was like a code. What they call it is one of the codes basically for a loud noise, a loud disturbance that was around this apartment complex. That don't mean that it was been Zelda trying to kill people, but they said it was a code of loud disturbance, but it didn't need police. So I guess the police came, but that's all it was. I don't know if they fully came, but I guess they looked around and shit like that. The police said that he want people to be careful because it is Venezuelan gang members in Chicago, but as far as taking over neighborhoods, they don't believe that can happen, especially like on the south side that's full of black people. That's a very black impoverished African community with a lot of young people. The murder rates are very sky high over there. That's not a neighborhood or a territory that just some outsiders can come take over. It ain't that easy. Now it is a gang, uh, Trans De Agarula, or however you pronounce it. And the police say they are out here. Two of their biggest leaders, not the main leaders, but two of their biggest leaders were actually caught on gun and drug charges out here in Chicago. They're actually locked up right now with other members out here. But the police said, you know, as gang members have come out here, but as far as taking over communities, they believe that that might have just been like a prank call because this went down in Aurora. And we're not even sure if that fully went down in Aurora, as people said it. Uh, but the police said they don't believe that gang members took over a building. Now, is it gang members out here? Is it gang members that's hanging on the blocks? Is it immigrants? Is it migrants that came out here that no longer want to just chill in the shelter and just be stuck together and don't get to hang nowhere? No, it's people that have made this place home. Their kids come outside. They hang around. They didn't gang friends. So you might see a group of Venezuelans outside. You might see Venezuelans that shoot somebody because they out here. You might see Venezuelans arguing late at night. You might see violence. A Venezuelan might rob somebody. It's the same thing as if a black person might rob somebody black person out here arguing we all the same type of people on these streets basically so with it an influx of migrants you're gonna see a lot of crimes but that don't mean that they didn't took over is what he's saying so if you hear about a call of somebody getting shot around no block and there was a venezuelan involved yeah okay it's venezuelans out here but as far as a gang taking over they don't believe that happened you know but it is people out here in the street that says look it's a such thing as a bbd you know, and there's people out here saying BBD, you know what I'm saying? There's a such thing as a VBD, a Venezuela BD, and then you got some Venezuelans that's not cool with the BDs. I was told that. They out here. You can see them on TikTok and all kind of stuff. But as far as, like, Chicago against the Venezuelans, I hope that ain't the energy that's coming out in these videos because that's not what it's about. These videos are about Venezuelan gang members just taking over, blah, 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 shooting people, taking over shit. That's what these are about. I love my Venezuelan people, man. Please don't get that confused. But Shark on Land wanted to prove a point. 
600 rapper, cousin of 600 Breezy. You know, Shark Orlando is really like a real official 600 member. You know, a lot of people look at Shark and, you know, took a lot of credibility from Shark because the video got released that alleged told he told on Just Blow. I think he kind of cleaned that up. But Shark went to that neighborhood and spoke to some of the Black Disciple gang members over there in front of that apartment building that they said the Venezuelan took over. And even they said that didn't happen, so. I think we put an end to that rumor. Now, if there is Venezuelans out here, gang members that's shooting people and doing all kind of stuff, yeah. But is it a group of thousands that's walking into apartment complexes and taking them? I don't think that's happening in Chirac. These niggas out here don't care. Look. These niggas out here don't give a fuck about their own mama, their own cousin, their own daddy. What the fuck make you think they give a fuck about somebody else? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's down the truth. Drive 61st. Yeah. 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 Trill niggas out, motherfuckers. See, got them in all the apartments. Mikey, Mikey on foot. Yeah. I'm out here, boy. Yeah, man. Motherfucker, I'm talking about goddamn it all. Venezuela took over, man. Look, they ain't take over, man. Look, man. The what they talking, if anything, man? If anything, they with us. And, and let me say this. It's a difference between us and them. When I say them, I'm talking about them down there the street, down the street. They ain't huh? taking over that shit. They ain't taking over 61st, though. Huh? Ain't no taking over the drive, man. Drive, Niggas know where we at. Know what I'm saying? Niggas see the apartments, got them in the complex. Niggas yeah. talking about they took over. They kicked in the doors. Wow. They, man, knock it the fuck off, man. Wow. Niggas ain't taking over the drive, boy. Y'all niggas talking like this, Colorado. You know, Knock it the fuck it. off, ain't man. No nigga never did it. We ain't feel like no foreign to do it. That don't even make no <laughs> Get to the bottom of that shit. Crazy. Bro. Knock it the fuck off with Just you, man. Let they ass do what they do. They want to come over here, make a life, do that shit. Hey, man, we ain't stopping that. Let you know niggas work man? like they do, man. We out here, man. Real ones out. Yeah.